Hi everyone, welcome back. So this time we're going to do a home experiment and we're going to have a look at reaction times. Now the time it takes for you to react to something happening basically means the time that it takes you to respond to seeing something happen and then to carry out the movements or the thoughts that are needed to respond to that thing happening. So for example, if someone were to throw me a ball, I wouldn't consciously think about it, but I would need to go through the process of recognizing that the ball is coming, working out where it's gonna be, moving myself, moving my hands to line myself up with that ball, and then to actually close my hands on the ball when I actually catch it. Now, because reaction times are such complex things, scientists spend an awful lot of time studying them. Just that process of catching a ball, I had to use my eyes and my brain and various different muscles in my body, all just to see that ball coming and to catch it. So recent studies have actually suggested that your reaction times and your precision with your reactions, so essentially whether you're able to catch the ball or not, get better and better and better as you get older. So you react faster and faster and faster up until the age of about 24. And then, though you know what to do, your reaction time will actually slow down again. So for today's experiment, we're going to check how fast your reaction times are. And to do this, you need just two things. One is a 30 centimeter ruler, and the other one is a willing volunteer to help you out. What you're gonna do is drop the ruler through your hand. The other person needs to do the drop though, so you don't know when it's gonna happen. So with the second person holding the ruler and you with your hand in a C shape held just below the ruler. When that ruler drops, if you've got really, really quick reaction times, you'll catch that ruler quite early on. And you can see that I've measured approximately six centimeters. If your reactions are slower though, that ruler will fall further through your hand and you might end up a bit further down. So this time there's 18. It will also make a difference, not just with your age, but also which hand you use. So if you write with your right hand, that is your dominant hand, and your reaction times with your dominant hand, your writing hand, should be quicker than they are with your other hand. So try the experiment out. Try it with both your dominant hand, your writing hand and your other hand, and try it with people in your family of different ages. If you'd like to video yourself doing this, that would be brilliant, but at the very least, it would be great to see your results. So please put your measurements in the comments to this post. Have fun and I'll see you again soon.